China innovation can also be seen on how fast they can build railway networks and transportation infrastructures. So with that said, in today's video, you are about to witness some of the most amazing and stunning recent railway infrastructures and mega projects ever built and constructed in China. Hi everyone, my name is Arthur and I'm back again with another amazing video. Today, you are about to witness some of the most amazing and stunning recent infrastructure and mega projects ever built in China. And since I don't want to waste any more of your time, let's proceed to my number one. Number one is all tunnels drilled through for China's first sea crossing high speed railway. All tunnels along the 277-kilometer fuzhou xiamen high-speed railway in southeast China's Fujian province have been joined up, a major step towards the full completion of the construction and operation of the artery as is scheduled. Connecting the cities Fuzhou and Xiamen, the project is China's first cross-sea high-speed railway with a design speed of 350 km per hour. It is expected to be put into operation in 2023 which will cut the travel time between the two cities to less than one hour. Number 2 is closer to Lhasa Yingqi Railway in southwest China's Tibet. Stretching some 435 kilometers, the Lhasa Ningchi Railway is Tibet Autonomous Region's first electrified railway. It crosses the Yarlong Jiangbu River 16 times, and bridges and tunnels account for 75% of the line's total length. Today, China's Fuxing bullet train runs through 31 provinces, autonomous regions, and municipalities. Number 3 is Railway Route in Northwest China's Qinghai. The Shikishan Hubushun Railway in China's northwest Qinghai province was considered the most secluded railway in China. It connects a large area of the Salt Lake with the Qinghai Tibet Railway, continuously transporting salt to all parts of the country. The railway is 54 kilometers long and is operated by the 60th Bureau of China's Railway with less than 50 staff. Since it was put into operation at the end of 2015, the transportation volume has increased from more than 300,000 tons to more than 2 million tons in 2020, boosting the local economy. Number 4 is track laying work completed for high-speed rail line in northwest China. Track laying work along a 326.7 km high-speed railway line connecting Xi'an, the capital city of Shaanxi province, and Yinchuan, the capital city of the Ningxia Hui Autonomous Region, was completed, paving the way for static tests. Travel time between the two capital cities in northwest China will be reduced from 14 hours to merely 3 hours after the line is put into operations. Number 5 is Tibet gets its fastest bullet trains.
tourists now can take the region's fastest trains and enjoy the stunning views along the new railway route to explore the Qinghai Tibet Plateau, one of the world's most geologically active areas. China's Tibet Autonomous Region is now running Fuxing bullet trains as the Lhasa Yingqi Railway began operations, marking the start of high-speed train services to all Chinese mainland provincial-level regions. Number 6 is Smart New Fuxing bullet Trains Put Into Service Two new models of China's Fuxing high-speed trains are put into operation. The new models, CR400AF-Z and CR400AF-BZ, have a design speed of 350 km per hour. The trains integrate internet, cloud computing, big data, 5G and other new technologies. The Fuxing bullet train series have so far been operating in all provincial level regions of the Chinese mainland. Number 7 is Passengers Take Tibet's First Electrified Train. More than 150 passengers arrived in Yingqi, a city located in eastern Tibet Autonomous Region, from the capital city Lhasa on board the region's first electrified train soon after the train started operation. With the launch of the service, the Fuxing bullet train series are available in all provincial level regions on the Chinese mainland. And the situation of no trains running between the cities of Shannon City and Yingqi became a thing of the past. So I hope you found this video wonderful. And if you did, be sure to click thumbs up, subscribe and share this with others. Once again, this is Arthur. Thanks for watching and see you on our next video.